In this video, we'll be discussing the ways to express the concentration of solution. The first way is the mass percentage. The second way is volume percentage. The third way is mass by volume percentage. The fourth way is molarity. The fifth way is molality. And the sixth and the last one is mole fraction. So let us discuss all of these in details. So the first way of expressing the concentration of the solution is mass percentage. So when we express the concentration of a solution as the percent of one component in the solution by mass, we call it the mass percentage. It is represented by W divided by W. Mathematically, mass percentage can be represented as mass percentage of a component A is equal to mass of the component A in the solution divided by total mass of the solution into 100. So when we mean 10% solution of sugar by mass, it implies that 10 grams of sugar is present in 100 grams of dissolution. Or we can say that 10 grams of sugar has been dissolved in 90 grams of water. To understand this concept much clearly, let us consider one problem. It states then, calculate the mass percentage of calcium, phosphorus, oxygen in calcium phosphate. So first of all, we have to calculate the molar mass of calcium phosphate. Since there are 3 calcium atoms, so we will multiply 3 into the molar mass of calcium plus twice 
phosphate since there are two phosphate ions so we will multiply it into with 2 into mass of phosphorus since there is one phosphorus atom and 4 into 16 it is 4 oxygen atom with molar mass 6 so the total molar mass of calcium phosphate is equal to 310 gram now we will find the mass percentage of the individual at so mass percentage of calcium is equal to Three into fourteen. Since there are three atoms of calcium, so three into the mass of calcium divided by the molar mass of calcium phosphate into hundred. So this is equal to thirty-eight point seven one percent. So the mass percentage of calcium is thirty-eight point seven one percent. Next, mass percentage of phosphorus is equal to since there are two phosphorus atoms, so we will multiply 2 into 31, that is the molar mass of phosphorus, divided by the molar mass of calcium phosphate into 100. So it is equal to 20%. So mass percentage of phosphorus is 20. And at last, mass percentage of oxygen. Since there are 8 oxygen atoms, so we will divide it, multiply 8 into 16, divided by 310 into 100, which is equal to 41.29%. So this is the mass percentage of oxygen. So next, let us come to the next way of expressing the concentration of the solution, that is volume percentage. So when we express the concentration of a solution as the percent of one component in the solution by volume, we call it volume percentage. It is denoted by V divided by V. Mathematically, volume percentage is equal to volume of Component A in the solution divided by the total volume of the solution into 100. Suppose, if a solution of sodium chloride in water is said to be 10% by volume, that means in 100 milliliter of solution will contain 10 milliliter of sodium chloride. So the third way of expressing the concentration of a solution is mass by volume percentage. So it is the mass of the solute dissolved per 100 milliliter of the solution. It is denoted by W by V. Next comes the fourth way that is molarity. So it is the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of a solution. Molarity is represented by capital M.
so mathematically molarity is defined as number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter so the unit of molarity is mole per liter so let us consider one problem to understand the concept of molarity more clearly so a sample of nitric acid has a density of 1.41 gram mole per liter find the concentration of nitric acid in moles per liter and the mass percentage of nitric acid in it is 69 percent So given that the mass percentage of nitric acid is 69%, thus 100 gram of nitric acid contains 69 gram of nitric acid by mass. Next, we need to find the molar mass of nitric acid. So here, mass of hydrogen is 1, nitrogen is 40, and mass of 3 oxygen atom is 3 into 16. So which is equal to 63 gram per mole. So now we need to calculate the number of moles in 69 gram of nitric acid. So 69 gram divided by 63 gram per mole is equal to 1.095 mole. So there are 1.095 mole. Next, we need to consider the volume of 100 gram of nitric acid solution. So, volume of 100 gram of nitric acid solution is equal to the mass of the solution divided by density of the solution. So mass of the solution is 100 gram, density of the solution is 1.41 gram per liter. So we have volume of 100 gram of nitric acid solution equal to 70.92 milliliter or 70.92 into 10 to the power 3 liter. Thus, the concentration of nitric acid in mole per liter is equal to 1.095 mole divided by 70. 0.92 into 10 to the power 3 liter that is equal to 15.44 mole per liter speed of expressing the concentration is molality so it is the number of moles of solute dissolved per kilogram of the solute it is represented by small m. It 
its unit is mole per kg. Mathematically, we can write molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg. So next comes we will discuss the relations between molarity and molality. So molarity divided by molarity. We know molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. So we write it as follows. And mean molar molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by mass of the solvent in kg. So number of moles of solute will get cancelled out. So we will have mass of solvent in kg divided by volume of the solution in liter. So that we can write it as W by V. Next. Let us consider the density of the solution to be D. And its unit is gram per liter. So, mass of the solution will be equal to V into D that is volume into density. Next, mass of the solute is equal to number of moles into molecular mass of solute So that is equals to N into M subscript A. So now mass of the solvent is equal to mass of the solution minus the mass of the solute. That is equal to V into D minus N into M A. So thus molarity by molality is equal to W by V that is mass of the solute solvent in kg divided by volume of the solution in litre.
So we have W equals to V into D minus N into M subscript A and D volume is equals to V. So this is the relation between molarity and molality. And at last, mole fraction. So if the solution has solvent and the solute, mole fraction gives a concentration as the ratio of moles of one component to the total moles present in the solution. It is denoted by X. Suppose we need to calculate the mole fraction of component A. So mole fraction of A is equal to number of moles of component A divided by number of moles of component A and number of moles of component B. So this was all about. Thank you.